Evable Key Points Part 1 we know eBay bill is an electronic bill which is required for movement of goods under GST. But when it is required, by whom it is required, how it is generated, when it is generated, all these questions are lingering on in every person's mind. In this article, we attempt to bring some clarity on the concept of eBay bill for citizens of Takurani land. For the sake of brevity, we will present you articles in a series. Don't forget to read other parts as well. Who shall furnish details? Every registered person who causes movement of goods shall furnish information relating to said goods in Part A of Form GST EWB1 electronically on the common portal before the commencement of such movement. For example, a of Delhi is supplying goods worth Rs. 75,000 to B of Gurgaon. A should generate e bill. When to submit? If the consignment value of such goods exceeds Rs. 50,000, option is given to generate and carry e bill even if the consignment value is less than Rs. 50,000. When not required? In the following cases. In case where the goods are Transported for a distance of less than 10 kilometers intrastate from the place of business of the consigner, where the goods being transported are specified in the annexure to the notification number 27 over 2017, namely it covers category of goods that are exempted or nil rated where the goods are being transported by a non-motorized conveyance, where the goods are being transported from the port, airport, air cargo complex and custom station of an inland container depot or a container freight station for clearance by customs or in respect of movement of goods within such areas as are notified under rule 138-14d of the goods and services tax rules of the concerned state. When details of conveyance not required? Details of conveyance in Part B are not required to be provided if goods are transported for a distance of less than 10 kilometers within the state or union territory from the place of business of the consigner to the place of business of the transporter. For example, A of Delhi supplies goods worth Rs. 75,000 to B of Haryana. For this purpose, he sends goods from his warehouse to transporter's office, which is located at a distance of 7 km from his warehouse. In this case, he will not generate e bill. But e bill will be required for transporting from transporter's office to recipient of goods in Gurgaon. EBN number Upon generation of e bill on the common portal, a unique e bill number EBN shall be made available to the supplier, the recipient and the transporter. Acceptance or rejection of e bill The details of e bill generated shall be made available to the recipient if registered who shall communicate his acceptance or rejection of the consignment. Where no communication is made within 72 hours, then it shall be deemed that he has accepted the said details. For example, A of Delhi is supplying goods to B of Gurgaon. A generated e bill and communicated this to B. Now B has the option to either accept or reject the consignment. In case he sends no reply within three days, it is assumed that he has accepted the same. Transferring goods in transit. If a transporter is transferring goods from one conveyance to another in the course of transit, then he shall update the details of conveyance in the e bill before such transfer and further movement of goods. For example, A of Delhi hired C of Delhi to transport some goods from Delhi to Gurgaon in a truck. While entering Gurgaon, the truck broke down. As a rectifying measure, C called another vehicle to supply the consignment. In this case, details of change of vehicle will need to be updated in the e bill for the further movement of goods.